Okay, situation 20. So, refer to the figure showed. Dimensions T, T, A, H are given. Alright, walang B, W. Compression tension bars given. Compression bars given. The stirrups is 10 millimeters in diameter. A vertical use stirrups. Clear concrete cover to stirrups is 40 mm. Okay, concrete strength. Then maximum size, of course, aggregate 20 mm. Steel strength, FY for longitudinal bars. And lateral ties is uh, FYH275. And factor of safety. I mean, reduction reduction factor for shear is 0 0.75. So, yung question here are all about uh, all about shear, uh, shear strength of the section. Now, notice that walang binigay dito na dimension dito. So, we can just assume na uh, rectangular beam siya. Okay? Assume lang natin rectangular beam siya. Nilagay ko lang yung mga values. Although, hindi naman talaga magagamit eh. Ito, for shear. Yung width ng ating T. So, hindi siya magagamit dito. So, unang-una, we need to have the effective depth. Kailangan talaga ito. A distance from the extreme concrete compression to the centroid of the main bar. Tension bars. So, since uh, two lines with equal diameter, nasa gitna tayo. So, for that, kunin ko lang itong, tawag ko siyang D-prime. Now, although, hindi ito yung correct term dyan, pero tawag ko siyang D-prime. So, clear concrete cover to stirrups 40 mm from here to here. So, define ko muna si D-prime. So, starting here, 40 mm plus diameter of stirrups. Alright, 40 mm. Then, diameter of stirrups. Okay? Napunta ko dito sa centroid ng uh, bottom bar. So, if 25 mm yan, uh, 25 over 2. Andito tayo sa centroid. Then, to that centroid, kalahati ng 50. Kalahati pa ng 50 yung iaangat natin. So, 50 over 2. That means, D prime is 87.5 millimeters. Okay. So, that yung D is a total of 500. 100 plus 400 minus D prime. 87.5. So, kailangan natin to Later on. Okay, so itabi ko lang siya dito. Si mga values natin. Determine the minimum beam width, BW, that will satisfy the code requirement for bar spacing and clear cover. So, ito yung uh, requirement for bar spacing and clear cover. Uh, of course, dito, outer to outer, 40 mm. Clear spacing to stirrups, 40 millimeters. Ito yung my code provision. Ito rin, may code provision din yan, pero there's no problem with this because it is given in the problem. Ito yung hindi binigay sa problem. Clear distance between the main bars. So, ito yung nakasaad sa code. So, bali, pag interpret natin siya, the largest of, the, of these three, ganito siya. Pero, iba yung arrangement sa code provision. Sinam, uh, sinamarize natin. Pinakamalaki sa 25 millimeters bar diameter na ginamit. For four-thirds, the maximum size of the aggregates. So, kung i-substitute natin, okay, 25 mm, the bar diameter being used here is 25 mm, and four-thirds, the size of the maximum, I mean, the maximum size of the aggregate. Force aggregate is 20. So, four-thirds of 20. So, you will have here, uh, of course, isa-isahin natin, no? 25, 25, ito siya, 4 thirds of 20, that will give us 26.67. So, gagamitin natin yung pinakamalaki sa tatlo. 26.67. So, paano kunin yung uh, minimum width based on spacing? A uh, code requirement for spacing of bars. So, i-add lang natin lahat ng dimension. So, lahat, i-add natin. So, the minimum width is dalawang 40, outer to outer. Okay, dalawang stirrups. Ito, plus dalawang 10 mm. Then, ilan to? Apat na diameter of main bars. So, apat na 25 mm bars. And, tatlong X. Tatlong spacing. Tatlong 26.67.
you will have here 280 millimeters. Ganun lang. Ganun lang sa kadali. Okay, number two is a minimum width based on shear strength. So, ito yan. Kung naka-3D tayo, ah, ito yan. So, ito yung shear force natin dyan. The spacing given here, the spacing of steel rafts is 100. Ito yan. Ito yung ating spacing S. Okay, so, uh, based on shear strength, uh, yung ating, uh, ano, hindi pala yung BW yung hinahanap, no? Design shear strength yung hinahanap sa number 62. So, the, the, the shear strength of reinforced concrete is composed of concrete strength and steel strength. Concrete strength on the code, you need to familiarize or memorize this one, no? Kasi sometimes hindi ito binibigay. So, 0 0.17, lambda is 1.0, square root of FC prime, given. BW for this problem is 350. Yung D natin is 412.5. So, naka-newtons pa yan. And this is for concrete, for steel. Alright, for these uh, bars. That's A, B, F, Y, H, D over S. That's the formula given by the code also. Yung A, B, it is a UST wrap. So, dalawa yung magre-resist dito. Okay, for the for the shear, for, for the tension crack. So, pi over 4 times diameter of steel wraps. Okay, dalawa times 2. Alright, FYH for steel wraps is 275. D is 412.5. Spacing is 100 for this problem. So, in newtons. Okay, by the way, you need to check this one. Ito yung limiting value niya for VS. Iba na yung pag-arrange sa code, no? Pero ito lang yung ibig sabihin. So, okay, substitute natin yung mga values dyan. Ito yung lalabas. Limiting value, hindi siya. Itong ating actual uh, VS shall not exceed this one. So, okay naman. Di siya lumagpas dito. So, you will use that one. Otherwise, kung lalagpas yung nakuha natin, gagamitin natin yung limiting value. So, the nominal shear strength of the reinforced concrete is VC plus VS. VC, VS, ano na, ito pala yung VS, 178.19. Ginawa ko silang kilonewtons. Ito, nakakilonewtons, VC. Okay, nakakilonewtons. Just divide by 1,000. But take note, design shear strength. Basta merong term na design, you will multiply that one by reduction factor. Pag nominal, then ito lang, nominal. The reduction factor for shear 0 0.75 multiplied by Vn. Okay, the answer is 230.17. Let us see. Alright, so number 63. So ito na yung hinahanap dito, no? Okay, dito kasi is shear strength. Dito is a uh, minimum beam width based on uh, based on the givens. Ibabase natin siya sa shear strength. Okay? So, as you can see, uh, as you remember yung VC natin in terms of BW. But VS is not a function of BW. Makukuha muna natin si VS. Ang nagbago dito is the spacing only sa previous number. No, meron kang VU. Binigay yung VU. Required strength. So, kunin muna natin si VS. After that one, makukuha natin si VC. The criterion is that the required shear strength, uh, this is from the factor loads, galing sa load, shall not exceed the design shear strength. Ito yung kaya ng B. Design shear strength. And take note that VN is VC plus VS. So, meron tayong VU. Meron tayong VS. We can solve first for the nominal strength VC. Okay, VU is 310 kN equal to uh, V is 0 0.75. VC is unknown. VS, okay, ginawa ko muna siyang kN. Of course, hindi mo yan mako-compare no? sa 0 0.67 square root of FC prime BW. Kasi unknown pa yung si BW. Ito talaga yung gagamitin natin. Okay, so makukuha natin dito si BC and that is greater or equal. Nasa kanya yung inequality. So ito yung minimum required BC. And known that BC is 0 0.17 square root of FC prime BWB. So greater or equal to this. Gawin ko siyang newtons. Kasi naka-newtons yung formula niya. 
Dito, makuha natin si BWD. Substitute lambda 1, FC prime, BWD. Okay, greater or equal to this. Yung lalabas is 316.4. On the choices, ito yung pinakamaliit na pwede gagamitin natin is 320. Round up. 